It's getting real this morning. The uh, power company's here. They're gonna do all the poles in my property now and bring the lines. They already told us they're gonna kill the power so they can have the third leg. So it's getting very, very close. The, uh, you guys know I've been running on the generator. All my stuff is right there for the uh, underground. Right there, that's all my conduit, all my breaker panels, everything's right there. I have a uh, another electrician coming by today so he can, uh, you know, try to do all this for me. Because uh, now, <laughs> now we're running a little behind. Uh, but anyway, it's all good. I'll probably see if I can't start trenching this weekend so we can drop these pipes in the ground next week and connect everything. Maybe we can even pour this concrete next week and, and drop the uh, transformer. So, well, that depends on what the electrician has to say because I know he's, I know they're busy. So, anyway, all right. Well, let's get started. We're, uh, we're back at training this morning. Michael's already here. Uh, I put some water in there yesterday. I put a little coolant, and then I ran the uh, the uh, the coolant this morning. Uh, and uh, anyway, so I'm gonna get a uh, refractometer so we can test the uh, mixture of the coolant, and we're gonna get that set up properly, and then we're gonna hopefully run some parts today. Stick around. All right, so they are. So close to finishing up pulling those wires. We went to lunch because they killed our power <laughs> and we can't do anything in the meantime. Uh, I have Jerry over there. Uh, he's, uh, he's running my data over here so we can have some internet and Wi-Fi and all that good stuff. Uh, the machine's on because it's running on the generator, but we don't have air so we can't, we can't run it. So, what are you working on? I am changing parameters on the machine to minimize the thread pull out on your threading bar. Okay, so he's still working on the program that, we did a conversational program, right? Correct. So he's editing uh, parameters right now to make sure everything runs like it's supposed to, because the minute we get some air, we're gonna cut some chips. And today. Today, yes. in like, as soon as we have air, right? Oh, we'll have a, we'll have a break. We have what? What's the first part we make it a break? Air. No, air. As soon as we oh, have air, that's the... Yeah, that's but we'll have some parts on today. I know. We're going to have parts. We're going to have parts. Today. We're going to do an easy tuner. It's the first part I ever had made, so I guess it's only fitting that we do that, right? Anyway. Going to get back to work. It's dark in here, but soon enough we'll have power again. And we'll get going. So he's changing a lot of parameters in the machine. This is the first time it's been ran. So there's some things that he has to change, some things that he has to adjust, and some things that he is adjusting for my purpose. For example, the parts pickup. Uh, he had to adjust the parameters so that the subspin will come real close to it because I'm going to be making small parts so that they fall in there, right? So anyway, that's what he's doing right now. <laughs> They decided to cut the power right, right before we were ready to make a part. So, uh, anyway, we're getting there. Slightly, slightly frustrating, but <laughs> we're getting there. All right, so as you guys know, a lot is happening right now. The uh, power company's there, our power's out right now because they're adding the uh, new poles and all that good stuff. Equipment share, I called them this morning and I said, Patrick, I need an excavator ASAP. The electrician was here this morning and I want to start trenching immediately because I already have all my stuff. Well, guess what? It's uh, not even 3 p.m. yet. And here is my excavator. So we're gonna tomorrow morning, or maybe even this afternoon, I'm gonna start trenching this ditch from there all the way to here so man these guys got here quick and of course you know that really helps me right now i'm trying to get this thing done so right there if you guys ever need anything give these guys a call that's who i use and as you saw they get here quick uh 
We still have no power. We've been working on uh, getting all the uh, coolant lines lined up properly. Uh, yes, it's dark in here because <laughs> no power. Uh, Michael's over here. Hey. He's supposed to be training me and we're just sitting here. But hey, we're still getting some done. Uh, we got all the coolant lines lined up. Uh, this is the angled head. We're gonna rotate this thing and we're gonna set it up at 20 degrees. Uh, that's gonna do the angled ports on the uh, on the muzzle brake. This is the tap. This is the drill, boring bar, threading bar, and around and around we go. So uh, anyway, that's what uh, that's what we're working on right now because we can't make chips. We're about to cut the first part, right, Michael? About to. We're about to. We've been making lots of virtual chips. Yeah, we, we did a lot of uh, air cutting, right? You call it air cutting? Where where he, instead of cutting on the part, he moves the uh, G54 over here, which is, the machine thinks the part's over here, and it kind of does all the all the moves, but obviously it's not cutting anything because it's there's no part there, but he did that a lot. Also, this machine t does a virtual run, so, this is the uh this is what's gonna happen yeah this is what's gonna happen this is the uh tapered easy tuner so right there it's boring the id finish pass now it's threading it and then it's gonna drill the holes around the perimeter it's going to do the taper. The reason we do the f holes before the taper is because uh, we don't want to be drilling on a taper. Then it comes back and cleans out the holes and then it taps them and that's it. Then it's going to uh, come around and uh, you know the sub spindle is then going to go grab it and then finish machining the backside over here on the sub spindle. So that's what's about to happen. <laughs> as soon as we get some power. That's right. Uh, I did put some coolant in there. Uh, we have a refractometer somewhere in here, right here. This thing. And it tells us how much, or the percentage of coolant that's in the machine. So we got 8% in there right now. I think that's perfect. And uh, we're just waiting for power so we can run some, some parts. Jerry over there, he's uh, doing my data because I'm gonna hardwire all these lathes to my network in my house so when I program I can program in my house send the program directly over to the machine in here also that's going to give us Wi-Fi in here and all that good stuff uh, anyway so we're going to keep working on this so that uh, there he goes we're going to set the uh, the angle but uh, anyway we're going to keep working on on this stuff and uh, once we get power we'll show you we're gonna make some chips, right, Michael? Make some chips. It's gonna to happen today. Today, we're gonna to make the first part on this machine. It's gonna be amazing. It's Boom. gonna be amazing. <laughs> if you know the reference, it's gonna be funny. If you don't understand the boom, then go watch, I'll give you a hint, Titans of CNC. Uh, he does that. Boom. Boom. That just happened. <laughs> right here. You saw it here. You wanna run? Test out your program, but you don't want to crash your machine. We have a function called machine lock. You turn this on. How do I go? Wait, how do you get to that function? So you go to auto. Auto. Or any window. Edit window. We want to go to maintenance, settings, machine settings. Okay. Just drag it anywhere, and it'll have the machine lock in there. And we can turn it on. Okay. Now the machine lock is on. The spindles will turn, the coolant will come on, everything, the turret will index, but there'll be no motion. Okay. So you can run through your entire program and look for errors, bugs, you know, code that's not not running or, or hanging up. And you don't have to worry about crashing your machine or anything happening because you've locked the machine. Up. Okay. The only thing you have to remember, after you turn the machine lock off, you will need to perform a zero return. That's the only thing. And it will tell you, it'll give you a warning, it says, please zero return machine. Zero return meaning what? Take it back home? Zero return and press one touch. Okay, so back home. Just back set home. it back home. Okay, okay. Make sure you look out for that one four station holder yeah. because it does stick out far enough to contact the sub spindle 
if you home the machine with that. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I do that and then I bring in the program. So I put yep, it. Look, you bring in your program. Go to, go auto, to auto. Go to the folder. folder. You'll hit the import. Import to the in document. Yeah. Browse select. or select. You'll find your your USB drive will right. be listed. You'll select it, select your file, and hit open. Hit open. And then it, it'll appear here in the list. And then I select it. Then to open it, you just hit this little open arrow to the right, right and your G code will open. And then to run it is the play button. Yes. Edit. So your program isn't going to be conversational, so you won't have a process view. You'll just okay. have, all you'll have is G code. Okay. So you'll hit play. Blackboard is for, ready for cycle start. Hit the edit crayon. When it turns white, it's like a whiteboard for editing. Okay. Once you once you've got the blackboard up, it's ready for you to hit cycle start. But because we turned on machine lock here in our machine settings, we don't have to worry about crashes. We don't have to worry about anything happening. All the most the machine will do is index and run the spin list. Okay. All right. I think I got it. <laughs> Thank you. All right. All right. So the program is ready to run and can run it. We still don't have air. The power company is still not done. Michael had to leave because it's late in the day. They were supposed to shut the power down for, they said an hour or two. It's been almost six hours. I know more than likely it's about to come back on, but it's not back on. And like I said, Michael had to leave. He really wanted to make some parts before he left, but he just was not able to. Uh, anyway, <laughs> welcome to my world. All right, so going to have to turn the machine off. And it's going to be another few days before we can make some parts. Uh, frustrating. Frustrating. Anyway, all right, I guess we're going to work on the power now on the uh, getting the ditch dug. Uh, of course, there's rain chances. There's a lot of rain coming as well, so I don't know that I want to open up the ditch because uh, it's probably going to fill up with water if I if I open it up if it gets a lot of rain, which obviously would not be a good thing. Anyway, uh, that's part of it, I guess. Anyway, all right, guys. Uh, I was really. I was not baiting you. I was really hoping to make some parts today. So was Michael. It just wasn't meant to be, I guess. <sighs> All right, so it's gonna have to be next week now. Sorry. All right, we'll see ya. Thank you. Bye-bye.